I am a man of sameness. I eat the same two eggs and slice of toast. I watch the same news channel, which it usually just talks about the weather. I get my keys from my table, go to the same work, go to the same home, put my keys on the same table, and repeat. But one day, it felt different. I had eaten my eggs and toast, watched the same news channel, gotten my keys, and went to work. But I felt I had forgotten about something. I had went to work to the same desk, the same computer, and drank the same coffee, but I still feel like I had left something. I had a great itch of paranoia around me. At first it was mild, but it grew stronger and stronger each day. Work used to be my haven. Work was so predictable that it went well with my lifestyle of sameness. How it never had anything unexpected around the corner, just the way I like it. Now though, it felt like work was teasing me. How it was perfect like my life was. No uncertainty around the corner, no paranoia anywhere. My life was slowly falling apart in my fingers. I needed to find what I had forgotten. My paranoia had dwindled, and a new fire had taken its place. Anger. I had went to my car, in which I had hidden my keys in the same place. The sun was dwindling and the moon was rising. I drove off. I drove at the same speed, 45 miles per hour, but the number grew. 50. 55, 60, 70 to 90. By then, I was going fast like a blur, but at the same time everything slowed down. There was a man, approximately in his early 30s, crossing the road. By the time he had seen me, as I had seen him, it was too late. A giant thunk was heard. I had stopped as fast as I could. By the time I had gotten out, he was already dead. A pool of crimson was spreading from the corpse. I felt like I could hurl, but yet, I had not. But instead of calling 911, which I know it would be too late anyway, I had to put the man inside my trunk and hide the body. As I went home, I had cleaned my car, had gotten a trash bag, and put the man in the bag. It had felt oddly familiar as I drove to the nearest lake and dumped the body. By then it was morning. I went to the same house, eaten the same eggs and toast. I had watched the same news channel, but instead of it saying what weather to expect, it instead said that the hit and run serial killer had struck again. The same cold grin arose. <laughs>